on fasting this is what he did and uh, i uh, 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 has given the title the thy life is my lesson this is how he uh, practiced in his life also this is not mere advocation of uh, gandhi but uh, this is what uh, uh, i really practiced in his life uh, he brings out the significance of the of mahatma in shaping his own life and then uh, uh, he is talking about mahatma's adherence to truth uh, the spiritual uh, uh influence on the followers and uh, he is talking how kadi movement keeps the idol busy and solves the problem of unemployment and um, uh, he talks about gandhi's punctuality and then uh, how gandhi was a, a priceless alloy of character and discipline uh, and uh, he talks about gandhi's uh, uh, ahimsa which was the basis of gandhian philosophy and then uh, he says that this ahimsa is a stabilizing factor for national security this is the greatness of india uh, gandhi's ahimsa uh, non violence was able to lead uh, other countries also and uh, then he says that uh, uh, gandhi's inner light the soul the divinity in his soul uh, it is like an uncounted idiosyncrasy and uh, it uh, gandhi's resilience is always for construction the construction of the nation that is what gandhi always tested on and uh, uh, ayer talks about gandhi's uh, simplicity of character um, he gives various uh, incidents also and then uh, it, that is the message to all, all people at all times his simplicity and adherence to truth and then uh, he talks about his obedience to his mother how he gave uh, promise and kept that promise till the end of his life and uh, he he was morally very courageous uh, we look at gandhi as a very uh, uh, thin personality uh, but uh, he is a very strong man um because morally he was very courageous and uh, he very easily forgave his assailants i uh, uh, makes a mention of that how he was able to forgive people and uh, uh, he is talking about uh, uh, he, he gave his life like socrates uh, gave his life uh, for the sake of truth that is uh, very beautiful and uh, as uh, he uh, talks about gandhi we are reminded of uh, uh, ayya uh, following uh, his ad- in his adherence to truth a very simple life helping all uh, moral courage uh, punctuality so all these uh, uh, traits characteristic traits that we see in that he talks about uh, 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 gandhi's uh, characteristics uh, we see we noted that in our beloved ayya so uh, again and again in all the essays uh, uh, he gives uh, 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 he just uh, uh, gives his stay thoughts on individuals life also uh, whenever he talks about personalities or uh, economy of the nation patriotism or politics he just uh, uh, never fails to talk of individuals responsibilities he always uh, tells uh, uh, it may be to youth or any uh, at any stage we have to remember uh, like uh, he says restrain from temptation never be tempted by anything in your life you have to be very careful about it and balance your budget very very uh, important economy individuals economy be sincere as sincerity is uh, very very much needed and then he says uh, uh, you you always must be a man of thrift not a spend thrift but a thrift should not spend much uh, and uh, he says that learning and knowledge will solve all problems 
not intrigue and interrogation unnecessarily need not spend your time in intrigue and interrogation but all your problems will come to an end by learning and acquisition of knowledge truth alone these are ayya's words truth alone lights the lamp of confidence if you are uh, truthful you will be very confident is yes? you will never have any fear when a uh, tadpole uh, tadpole uh, drips its uh, tail it becomes a frog so drop your ignorance and always shine in um, unstinted uh, um, uh, unstinted courage that is what i uh, uh tells uh, uh, like a great uh, philosopher uh, he tells us uh, as how to lead our life uh, how to accept things and how to face things with great moral uh, courage uh, very beautifully he presents that he asks everybody to uh, gird up the loin and work for the welfare of the nation that's what is needed everybody must be um, uh, concerned about the country that is what uh, he says and uh, for personal uh, uh, life uh, i guess it is uh, he practiced uh, yoga and uh, he made it uh, a compulsory class for all the students ug students in our college uh breathing exercise was given uh, in the first star for the first 5 minutes uh, for the students and here he says it's a wonder nature's mystic uh, it's a magic uh, it gives you the mind for strength the breathing exercise gives the mind for strength so he is talking about the advantages of breathing exercise he says that it regulates and energizes the body that is what uh, he tells and he made it uh, practically uh, uh, made the students do it practically in the classroom every first hour uh, five minutes so yoga uh, he was a practical uh, yogi and uh, he propounded uh, yo- he says that yoga propounded a remedy for a noble uh, mind uh, even thought process will be purified not only uh, the physical uh, body will be maintained properly uh, exercise controls the disease and uh, uh, need not uh, if you go for exercise you need infrastructure and mechanical devices uh, it's like uh, you have to spend a lot to do on uh, instruments but whereas uh, yoga cares for you a, a bed spread a simple bed spread a mat is sufficient uh, he says that it is a panacea for breathing uh, is it muscles stability it give, uh, it gives you uh, the energy to continue your work from morning till evening and so uh, age is no bar to it young child can do it old man can do it so uh, he says that yoga is a must and uh, here he says that uh, never give any excuses for not doing breathing exercise and yoga as yes, as you spend time for other things you have to devote time for that it is a very very uh, essential thing it is mandatory uh, it gives a kinetic emancipation for human animation also so uh, uh, i yeah if you look at this uh, picture he, uh, the last picture also uh, we have we can see that yoga has lent him a medasas touch because uh, he was uh, practicing yogi uh, he had a noble appearance and uh, a noble thought and noble deed a great uh, personality i uh, for individuals uh, he talks on various uh, personalities uh, personal uh, human beings like uh, model figures uh, he is talking about and uh, for individuals he stresses on as i said gandhi's uh, uh, adherence to truth and uh, moral courage and uh, in the essay honesty is the cream of chastity he talks again about uh, uh, honesty uh, 
uh, he is for uh, he talks of religious tolerance and communal harmony uh, a natural care for the society and here he says um, uh, self sacrifice uh, as an essential thing and uh, uh, he he uh, uh, underlines the composed uh, culture of india uh, this uh, uh, this is a uh, Uh, contributed the composed culture of india is contributed by uh, he cites three works like uh, the ramayana the bible and the quran so these three great uh, works uh, uh, have contributed to the composed um, culture of india uh, and then um, i uh, goes on to talk about uh, uh, the personalities i said uh, uh, like uh, apple bomb uh, app uh, he is talking about a very uh, a character a man who is very insincere a self conceited uh, official who is not doing his uh, official work you know, very proud and self assertive and uh, uh, he is also uh, he is knocked by this uh, Uh, own assistant mocked by the assistant tony marker uh, for not discharging his duties sincerely and finally he makes that uh, tony marker uh, teach him a lesson uh, as how to be sincere in doing your duty uh, always be duty conscious and uh, finally this man not doing any work uh, making personal profit out of uh, uh the common fund and uh, finally uh, when tony marker uh, instructs him gives him uh, reminds him of his duties he says uh, i am so upset i want to a soda all the time he takes soda and by mistake uh, instead of soda he gives uh, distilled lime water gets uh, uh, tummy gets upset and gets admitted in a hospital and uh, this is the thing if you are not right in your duties you will be punished fighting justice that is what i is always believes in and uh, another interesting character like uh, falstaff and uh, like shakespeare's falstaff uh, like um, uh, goldsmith's uh, famous uh, tony we get malu the frivolous freak malu is an embodiment of uh, of course those two characters are embodiments of uh, Uh, fun and uh, laughter here this malu is an embodiment of evil and here he is is, is a monstrous character and uh, he says uh, he is reminded of wicked kamsan uh, uh, and here he says in this world there are many malus uh, he is uh, just giving a list of all that evil things that he is doing and finally he says that uh, 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 man should not be like that is this is also a negative uh, example uh, of a, a thing it shows a uh, skin insight into men and matters and another uh, uh, noteworthy uh, essay is the lady in silver coat everybody will be wondering who is this lady and finally aya uh, um, gives an excellent uh, this is an excellent uh, a specimen of uh, ayas uh, description and here he describes his pet dog julie julie is the lady in the silver coat and uh, somehow uh, uh, he was not that much attached to julie in the beginning his son's dog and uh, not attached in the beginning but later he he started to have some affection developed uh, an affection towards uh, julie and uh, uh, here he says that a uh, very important point that we have to remember is the writer's wife uh, uh, she comments about the companionable affinity watchful sincerity and the implicit faith of dogs and here he says that uh, uh, human beings have to be human beings have to learn these qualities uh from the dogs that is what he says uh, a thin comradeship develops between uh, the author and uh, julie and it develops into a thicker uh, friendship and uh, 
uh, he says some people keep it very close keep dogs very close uh, uh, make them sleep with them and things like that and uh, he makes a punching remark saying that uh, for some people maybe uh, dogs are more dependable than the trustworthy uh, prodigal sons and uh, uh, here he says that uh, the company always uh, uh, helps us to share the loneliness and a pet the dog always stands for goodwill and gratitude that is what i uh, stress uh, on this lady in silver coat uh, as we saw aya is uh, on par with the uh, alison steel uh, swift dryden and pope in his uh, satirical essays and uh, like uh, goldsmith's uh, man in black or uh, altangi the chinese philosopher or uh, uh, his other character like uh, um, uh, uh, like uh, shakespeare's orlando or uh, uh, falstaff or malvolio goldsmith's malvolio uh, we have mr rope uh, he gives a very beautiful physical description of uh, this man Uh, very uh, beautiful uh, description by aya he says uh, mr rope is uh, uh, dark uh, fatty and uh, uh, dark uh, thick mustaches uh, carrying a heavy paunch and he is walking like a drake and uh, he is breathes uh, his breath uh, smells of uh, alcohol and uh, his uh, Mm, uh, sneeze always has this uh, tobacco smell uh, so this is a very good uh, picture and this man comes and fights with him uh, to the journalist uh, you have written only about me why did you write uh, about me my character and here he says uh, he tries to convince him all great writers uh, take up uh, a model and write uh, it's not with particular reference to anyone or any particular person and this mr rope is beyond all that uh, uh, he is not convinced at all and he goes to the extent of threatening the uh, editor of the journal and immediately uh, he uh, when he understood that he has failed in convincing mr rope uh, he started saying that if you feel that i have uh, portrayed you uh, you take that i i cannot uh, help it you just to take it there no other go no ni no no way to convince him at all and he says that when shakespeare writes about a character you cannot think that it is he is talking about me writer has got his own vision uh, of the society of uh, men and matters so you cannot say that it is about me he is writing about me or things like that at mr hope is uh, beyond all uh, uh, convincing us and finally uh, author gets uh, irritated and he says yes uh, if 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 it is about you if you think if it is about you take it i cannot do about it and this man has got no other way and finally uh, he has to surrender and then uh he leaves the place uh, saying uh, okay i take it and things like that and leaves the place i uh, by the way he writes uh, we can understand uh, he has got the great legacy of the great writers eloquence fluency sparkling uh, in his uh, thoughts and uh, uh, his balanced uh, imagination and uh, he speaks uh, justice and uh, uh inequity for his characters and uh, uh, he gives anecdotes uh, from daily life uh, from great epics uh, the ramayana and the mahabharata and uh, from the bible uh, quotes from the uh, quran incidents from the quran and from literature uh, uh, tamil literature as well as english literature from history from great philosophers he chose the Uh, in depth the knowledge of aya and uh, he quotes even from the lives of uh, uh, persons like uh, personages like uh, uh, swami vivekananda alexander cato mahatma gandhi and great great uh, men uh, and uh, as i said about uh, uh, essay 
uh, brevity is the soul of wit uh, 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 ayas essay has got this brevity as the hallmark of all these uh, 30 essays uh, they are the result of his uh, uh, fruits of his uh, experience and thought uh, takes uh, uh, shows a very great insight into character a critical uh, taste uh, which is free from pedantry and also an easy literary style as a typical essayist i uh, uh, he is at uh, ease uh, at at once at the same time a rambler a spectator a tattler and a connoisseur and uh, i am very very happy that i am given uh, this opportunity uh, to talk about uh, a melodious harmony uh, ias book in english thank you a great uh, salutation to our belavadaya uh, i bow with great reverence to him thank you ayya